is Hester watching Heavy Milk Beer Review. And today we're coming to you from the one year anniversary of the 8 Bit Ale Works. And they're gonna have some really great beers today. So check it out. Yeah. All right, so as I said, we're here today for the one year anniversary party of the 8-Bit Ale Works. They brought about a bunch of beers that they've had over this first year. Stuff you're not gonna find necessarily, but they brew every occasionally, every once in a while. I wanna say, I think something in tune of 17. Now, I'm not gonna try 17 beers. I'll try a few. But from what I understand, they're gonna have 17 beers here today. So let's check it out. All right, the first beer I'm trying today is the Star Power. Now, the Star Power is a white made style ale. It's got prickly pear fruits, lemon, and star fruit. So let's go ahead and give this a try. This is a really, really good beer. Man, I can taste that fruit flavor coming out. I can taste the lemons. I mean, really citrusy beer. Now, once again, this is the first anniversary party here at 8 Bit Ale Works. So, a lot of these beers they have tonight, they don't have our normals, but they brought out a whole bunch of them. This is one of them, Star Power. So, if you get a chance, try it. It's good stuff. All right, the next one I am trying is a black. IPA. Now this one's a little bit different because they're using curry. It has a Maharaja type curry in it and it's 10.7% alcohol, over 70 IBUs. So I have to give this one a try. I have no idea what this tastes like. So it'll be an actual true reaction. So let's give it. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Woo. Oh God, I can taste that curry big time. <laughs> Mixing with the hops is a very interesting flavor. That's all I can say. This is adventurous. I'll say this, this is really, really an adventurous beer. Maharaja curry, black IPA, 10.7% alcohol. This is something you ever get a chance. You gotta try this. I don't know how often they're gonna have it, but you gotta try it. Right, the next one I am trying is the Little Nemo's Dream Mage. Now, once again, this is the White Mage style ale, which is a wit style beer. And now this one, they add honeysuckle, chamomile, and lemongrass. Yes, I remembered, ha! So, let's give this a try. This is interesting. Man, you can really taste that, uh, the honeysuckle and the, uh, chamomile come out in this one. Also the uh, lemongrass. I mean, definitely exactly as advertised. That really fruity type of uh, citrusy flavor comes out in this one. The taste is really good. It's a good, light, crisp beer. It's got a really good taste. And once again, I don't know if they're going to have this uh, year round. Probably not. But as I said, if you haven't been to 8-Bit in Avondale, you got to check it out. This place has got some really good beer. And man, they got some crazy stuff on tap all the time. So try it. The next one I'm trying is the Double Black IPA. Now this is using a Mandarin, not Mandarin. All right. It's going, isn't it? It's going, isn't it? It's going, isn't it? Good. All right, the first beer I'm trying to take is the Star Power. Now Star Power, I'm not going. What the hell is it using? Okay, I guess I am going. I'm going, I'm not going, I'm going, I'm not going. Going, going, go, 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 go. All right, this is you're watching Heavy Metal Beer Review. Today we're coming from the one year anniversary parsery. Parsery? Parsery. Man, I'm trying to remember what the hell I was going to say. What the hell were you going to 